If you're a fan of classic arcade titles like Burger Time, or perhaps maybe Lock and Chase, then this, the Data East Arcade 1 compilation cartridge for the Evercade console, might be just what you're looking for. This features 10 different arcade titles across the East collection. So join me as we take a first look and get a first impression and first feeling for each one of these games and see what they like. So here we are with the Data East Arcade 1 cartridge. So there's 10 games on here, you can see five in each line. We're going to have a look at them very quickly, just each one, get a first impression of each game. And it goes on this cartridge from 1981, Lock and Chase, up to, I think it's the mid-90s, yeah, 1995 with Chain Reaction. So we'll see uh, what kind of differences we see along the way in terms of style of game and graphics, things like that. We're going to start off with Lock and Chase, which um, you might be able to gather is a bit of a Pac-Man clone. I've not really played this one much, so obviously, like most people, I've played Pac-Man a million and ten times over, so we'll see what Lock and Chase is all about. It's a 1981 maze game, two players can play it. Let's have a look what it says here. You are a thief. Break into the vault, grab the coins, and nab any treasure that you can see, but watch out because uh, Stiffy... <laughs> Wow, okay. Stiffy, scaredy, smarty, and silly from the Super D security force are hot on your tail. Super D, Stiffy. Wow, okay, guys. Alright, Day East. 981. These guys are, um, yeah. Okay, less said about this, the better, maybe. So, here's our controls. You can move the characters with the D pad, and you can close the door with B. Uh, when they say close the door, I believe the main difference in this and Pac Man is that um, there's certain doors you can close and open and things like that so that's the only real difference because I assume without this they probably got would have got sued or whatever so uh, we'll see um, there is Stiffy in the uh, top left corner there nice to see him let's pop a few credits in um, on the arcade in these arcade combinations just hit that select button and it's as if you're putting coins into the machine and then you're ready to play the game wow this is this is Pac-Man alright isn't it Alright, here we go. And I'm in. I came in some kind of fancy car, and now... Oh yeah, the gate. The gates, they open, they close. So, there's at least an added wrinkle to it, yeah. The music's not as good. It's slightly... I don't know, jarring? I don't know how to put it. It's quite... It's quite intense. It's quite, um... High pitch. Oh, man. Oh, these doors better open. Oh, well, even they did, and it didn't, it didn't do many favours. Let's see if we can complete this level. This one, I'm getting this first look at uh, Lock and Shakes, which I'm not opposed to, by the way. I'm mocking it like it's a Batman clone, but um, Batman's really good. So, Batman with gates, I mean, that's not. Ugh. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to it. It's, uh, it's okay so far. I mean, it, it does feel like Batman, I'll be honest. It doesn't feel any different so far. But, we'll see how I get on. Oh, I've just made it through that gate. I feel the gates open and close quite quickly, and because you don't know where they're going to open and close. I'm sure there's like pro players of this who know what's going to open and what's going to close and when and how. Uh, and maybe you can make like a really good winning tactic out of it, but... For me, it feels fairly random, so I feel like, yeah, not much is going on there. I've apparently hit the uh, high score here, but we've played this game before in some of these other videos, and I think it's literally, yeah, you can see there, like, two to five. There's no actual score on the arcade machine, so, um, oops. There we go. Okay, so Double A is uh, the best player ever at Lock and Chase now. So, um, I'm going to try it one more time, just because I want to kind of beat the level. So, we'll give it one more, one more attempt. I feel like as well, like, some of the controls in this can be a little bit stuffy, a little bit like, you turn left and then it, there's a slight delay of the D-pad, that kind of thing, so, we'll see how we get on. I kind of like, I kind of like the sound effects and the music, but equally it's, um, can be a bit jarring, and that's me caught. Cool. 
I've got a really mint car that I come, you know, onto the field with, into the maze. Like, why am I even getting in here? The, the, the car looks great. <laughs> it looks better than anything that's on this field right now. Oh, the door at the top was closed. I did look. Let's, uh, let's do a classic Pac-Man move and... Oh no, the gate! I've survived. Oh no, 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 no. I'm hanging in there, but it doesn't feel comfortable. So it's hard to do commentary and uh, oh no, I've got trapped. I've, uh, yeah, it's hard to do commentary and focus on where I'm going with the gates and, and everything. There's only a few left to get, so surely this is my time to shine now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I've just got to go one, two, three, and yeah, I'm trapped. The out, the out was there. Oh, I had my chance. I had my chance, but I didn't make it. Okay, well, um, I only did slightly better than last time. Fourteen more dollars, but it felt like I did better, but clearly I didn't. Um, I did enjoy that that game. I did enjoy Lock and Chase. That that was pretty good. Um, I mean, well, because Pac-Man's good, so it had an extra wrinkle with some of the doors and stuff, but I, I enjoyed that, that was quite fun. We'll move on to our next game, which I have played before, it's Burger Time, everyone loves Burger Time, and this is the um, the arcade classic, and not the um, kind of NES version, I believe it was on one of the early EverK cartridges for Data East, so this is the original real deal. Um, it's 1982 release, two-player platform game, Peter Pepper needs your help to assemble some of the biggest burgers in the world. But Mr. Hot Dog, Mr. Pickle, and Mr. Egg have other ideas. So all you have to do in this is just move Peter around, and then with the B button you can throw Pepper right in the face of your adversaries, right in the face of the egg, right in the face of the Pepper. Pepper? No, I'm Peter Pepper. Right in the face of the pickle and the egg. So yeah, here we go. Let's dive in. I've played this one before and I do really enjoy this game. So. Here we go. Put my credits in. And uh, we're gonna get going. Alright, so the object is to climb up these towers if you've never played Burger Time before, and um, you've got to make the burgers hit the. Well, I kind of think it's like the plates at the bottom. So, here we go. The only thing playing this game with the D pad is sometimes you do get stuck slightly on the end of the. Um, on the end of the stairs, so to speak, the end of the ladder. When well, you think you're at the bottom and you get ready to make a move, but it turns out you're actually not at the bottom. Or even then, like right then, I was at the, um, before I was going to go on the ladder, but I wasn't quite on the ladder, so I ended up kind of stuck. So that wasn't the best. But so far, it seems to be going pretty well. The egg's coming for me, the uh, hot dogs are coming for me, and I think they're going to try and corner me, but I'm going to try and get out of it. There you go. And if I can just drop them, oh my god, it's worked perfectly. That, that was better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah, if you can kind of land on them with these ingredients, and there's some of the pepper in action, you'll stun them like temporarily. But yeah, if you can land on, um, if you can walk over these ingredients, like I'm going to try and do here, oh, I didn't catch them. But if you do get the bun or the salad or the burger to drop on them, then you will wipe them out. So, okay, I've kind of distracted Mr. Egg. Oh no, no, no! Uh, I tried to throw my pepper, but I threw it the wrong way while I was panicked. Just there you go. Level one is done. So I've done alright on this one. As you can tell, I've I've played Burger Time before. I know what, I I kind of know what I'm doing. There you go. This buns down. But it's a really fun game. It's a great. It's a, it's a it's a timeless kind of arcade classic. It's a simple premise, but it's it's very addictive to play. Um, it's hard to master, but thankfully with the Evercade and its kind of save states, you know, I got a game over there, and I believe it's back to the beginning. But with the save states, if you want to use the Evercade and make a quick save and load your progress, then in theory you could um, really get far in Burger Time and really see all the different levels and experience it. Properly, and as you can see, there's a different style level as well. So, yeah, yeah, really good, really good game, Burger Time. Really good game. Really recommend this one. 
as we go on to the next game, it's Breakthrough. So, 986, two players shoot him up. I'll read the description as always. Those dastardly enemies have stolen your fancy PK430 aircraft and secured it 500 miles away from you, that's very precise. Fortunately, they left your high-tech assault vehicle completely intact, so it's time to prove the folly of their ways. This, this really feels like an Englishman, uh, that description. So, we've got fire and jump, and then just kind of control the vehicle. So, um, yeah, I played Burger Time before, I've not played Breakthrough before, so let's see. See what goes down. Oh, I, like, I like the uh, title there. I like, I like the noise when you put credits into the machine. Yeah, that's great. Right, here we go. Well, number one, the music's fantastic. Oh, wow. This moves. not like you'd expect. Okay, I think I hit. Uh, This is moving quite fast. Right, so if you hold the button, you will accelerate quite quickly. So that's jump, that's fire. Well, that guy's got a flamethrower on his tank. Okay. Got some army men. The army men aren't going to stand a chance to whatever my powered car is. That just look like hay or something. Oh, no, the boulders. Oh, I've been caught. I've been caught. I mean, you can see my progress. My progress is, um... Kind of on there. It is saving my progress, weirdly. Okay. What was I going to do there? Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll restart it. I like that it's saving my progress. The worst thing with some of these Evercade arcade games is when you restart and you're just back to the very beginning. Am I meant to jump this? Presumably jump it. Oh, I tried to jump it. I might have been. I might have been a bit late. The music's fantastic. It's actually quite distracting. It's hard to talk over such great music. Right, we're gonna jump it. No, we're not gonna jump it. Fight your way through. I can't read that in time. If that's telling me something I need to know, then I I I, I can't read that in time. Right. We're going to jump. That hasn't worked. That tank can go over the boulders. But I apparently can't jump over it and can't shoot it down. Fight your way through the mountains, watch for rocks. Okay. Um, I'm a bit overwhelmed here. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening very quickly. Let me just double check the controls. Fire and jump. Okay, that's what I thought I had. I've tried fire. I've tried jump. Can't get past the rocks. So, I don't know. Let's, let's go down, because I feel like... Presumably, jumping this is the way to go? Okay. <laughs> Clearly, jumping is the way to go, but it's pretty tricky to pull off. Oh my god. The good music is starting to get annoying. But yeah, I think you're meant to time this and hop over. Oh, look at that! <laughs> okay, well, that felt really cool. But if you were in an actual arcade, I would have spent probably like $2 trying to pull that off. Um, I'll hold it here, but I like the music. Um, the game is very fast paced and slightly uh, chaotic, but I, when I made that jump, it was pretty cool. So I would definitely come back to this one, and I am planning to do like a full review of every kind of game on these cartridges. So I will give it like a full evaluation. Um, but for the, for the moment, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that one. But Breakthrough, okay, is um, an interesting game, and I, I yeah, I quite like that. I'd be willing to play more of it. It's clearly a bit hit and miss with the physics more than anything. I mean, I felt like I was jumping that beforehand, and sometimes I was just hitting the the boulder straight away. So we'll uh, we'll digress and we'll move on to Darwin. 4078. Wow, that's that is futuristic. So, 1986. Two player shoot 'em up. This is a shoot 'em up with a twist. You can evolve. Collect evil caps capsules. I mean that says capsules. 
as soon as speed capsules, to transform it into one of 19 different forms, but watch out, some are easier to use than others. Right, okay. So we can drop bombs of A, we can fire with B, move the ship. So um, let's give Darwin 4078 a go. 1986 to 4078. It's hard not to say 1478, but here we go. Credit in. Another great credit noise. And here we go. I've already kind of got the buttons, so I think. Oh man. It seems we're running a theme of these Evercade arcade games that uh, shoot 'em ups are the one that take me out very quickly. So I'm just going to double check the controls. B is fire, A is drop bombs. Okay. So. I'm going to get ready to hammer B like my life depends on it, and I'm going to get ready to evade like my life depends on it. Here we go. Right. Oh. Well, I tried. I did try. I feel like I'm concentrating very hard, so there's no there's no contrary here, sorry folks. i oh my ship's gone small and now it's down. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, and I do have game over. It says pistol at the top of the screen, which might be funny to some people. I don't know. I don't feel like I've got very far with this one at all. I don't feel like I've got very far with this one at all. Right. Let's have a do-over and just see what I can do. Oh man, there's a lot happening on the screen. And, and yeah, it resets you back to the beginning, which, uh, oh, okay, okay, I'm not getting anywhere with this game, clearly. Um, Yeah, I apologise for the lack of commentary, folks. I, it's taking quite a lot of my um, attention just to try and focus on this, but I am getting you one hit and you're out. And there's a lot happening on screen, so um, yeah, I'd say with Darwin 4078 might be a little bit too much in the future for me because my my 2022 brain cannot keep up, and I'm struggling there. So um, did I enjoy that? Uh, I'm not a huge Shumo fan. I mean, I kind of am, and I kind of, I kind of, kind of aren't. It depends on the game, but that one didn't really grab me. M mainly because it was unforgiving from, from, you know, Jump Street. So that wasn't quite the one for me. Um, we'll move on to the final game on this row: Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. So it's a great title. Let's see how we get on with the actual game. So 988, two-player beat 'em up. Present Ronnie has Ronnie, yeah, has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? Of course you are. As the street smart brawler's blade and striker, it's up to you to stop a spate of ninja related crimes. So the bad dudes are Blade and Striker. Two cool names, I like it. Uh, so jump and attack are our main controls. So it looks to be a double dragon Streets of Rage style game. Ooh, we've dived in here straight away. Rampant ninja related crimes these days. White House is not the exception. Was that what I said? Sorry. Oh, okay. Bad dudes versus dragon ninja, right. Uh let's let's go. Rampant ninja attacks. This guy looks like Duke Nukem. President Ronnie has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? Well, that's not for me to say. Oh, Oh my gosh, ran away, what kind of ninja is he? These this is giving me a shinobi vibe. <laughs> oh. Right, I think I'm jumping when I want to be kicking. There we go. Oh, they've got... throwing ninja stars, I don't have them. There's a lot of enemies, there's a lot of enemies on the screen. That, that's a bit much. What's this? Oh, I picked up a coin or something? Or... Oh. I thought I could jump and pick that up, but... Oh, there you go. I've got a lowdown. Alright, there's quite a lot happening here. 
It might be better with two players because there's a lot of enemies kind of in the fray. They've got a truck apparently. I mean, but weirdly, if you hit them, if you hit them once, they seem to just drop like flies. It doesn't seem to matter what kind of level they are. Oh, someone off screen there for a ninja star. I mean, that, that doesn't seem fair. All right. Oh man. Yeah, you hit some of these guys once and they just drop. Oh, this beefcake though, I don't think he's going to drop. We've got the boss man here. I'm, I'm surprised I made it this far, this quickly, because I feel like I've played this about 40 seconds, but... This guy looks like George the Animal Steel. He has got me. George the Animal Steel with gauntlets and the ability to shoot fire from his, from his mouth. Oh no, oh no. I feel like I have one move and it's the kick. And, like, it's pretty good apparently, but it's not. I don't have fire, I don't have gauntlets, I don't have a bold head. But hey, I'm bad. And apparently, stage one knows I'm bad, so I made it through. Um, this is quite fun. Yeah, I quite like that. Oh god, what's happening here? Yeah, it's got this kind of weird. I'm, I'm picking up stuff, I don't know what's happening, I'm knocking people out. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm on a truck. I don't know what's happening, but I think in multiplayer, yeah, like a lot of these kind of Streets of Rage style games, um, yeah, it'd be it'd be good fun, it'd be good fun. So yeah, this seems fine to me. The music then, as it was um, on the truck, that's been pretty cool as well. So yeah, okay, that's probably the best game so far. Although actually, Burger Time, probably, maybe Burger Time. Um, I think Darwin's were the weakest effort. The other ones, Breakthrough and Block and Chase were kind of middling. I, li I like them, but it uh, didn't, didn't blow me away. So I've never played this next game. It's Sly Spy. That's a great, that's a really cool um, kind of top picture there um, with him in midair with the with the gun against the uh, soldiers. That's really cool. So 1989, run and gun, two players. It says on the poster, this game will save your collections this summer. I don't quite know what that means, actually. <laughs> okay, so the year is 1990X, and the Council for World Domination is about to launch a nuclear missile. Well, okay, this game is leading with some pretty serious story stuff straight from Jump Street here. A slice as Sly Sprite. That's really hard to say. A Sly Sprite. Right, here we go. One more time. A Sly Spy. Nailed it. You're the only one who can stop this disaster. So leap into action and show us bad guys who's boss. Right, this is the only Sly Spy game I've ever heard of. Clearly this did not... Well, I'm guessing it didn't become a franchise because the name itself is an absolute nightmare. So... Uh, we'll look at the controls. It's another game. Fire and jump. Fire and jump. I think we all know how some of these are going. So let's give um, Spy Spy... Sly Spry... Sly Spry... Um, a little go here, and apparently winners do not use drugs. So that's just a friendly, friendly reminder from the FBI there. So here we go. Sly Spry. I, I still can't say his name. Welcome, agent. Please enter your security clearance code by using the joystick. Okay, well, number one, I don't know. I've no idea what I did then. Oh, it's my agent number. Okay, eight one three, in the house. Right, let's stop the world domination terrorists. They are not subtle in their name. Oh, okay. I thought it was a cool picture, but apparently it's maybe a core bit of the gameplay. But, I can certainly say I've not played a game that starts like this, so... Yeah. The blood is surprisingly authentic. There must be a hell of a lot of people in Washington DC plummeting to their death here. And why don't they have shirts on? They look like Buster from Arrested Development in his army gear. Oh, okay, that guy looks like Saddam Hussein. Well, I won't lie, this is pretty fun so far. This is chaotic. There's, there's a lot going on. What's that dog about? The barrels, the dogs, the fire, the, the soldiers, the uniforms. Here's Lincoln. Oh, God. 
The berets have got me. Yeah, this is really good. This is, did they say this was two player? Because I would definitely play this with a friend. This is just, this is just chaos. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Oh, another grenade. Great job. Oh, I've got my gunpoint. The CWD. Well, now I'm on a motorcycle. I, but I can shoot a gun as well. Okay. This is just getting better and better. Where even am I? Is this the New York skyline? Or what's happening? Oh, I think I've taken a bullet there. I think I've taken a bullet, and I'm I'm down and out on my on my hog. Well, it's not really a hog. It's a Japanese missile, I suppose. But I've got to stop the nuclear missile. Okay, that's a great uh, incentive to keep playing. That's that's one of the more usually it's just insert a coin, but that's actually a good use of it. So fair play. Um, yeah, I'll probably wrap this up here because this is really good. So I'll play more of this and you know give you a full review. But um, yeah, no, this this is this is really fun. This is really fun. This is like chaos. This is mad arcade action. So yeah, and in two player, I bet this is actually really good. So I mocked the title, I mocked the premise, but um, it seemed really really fun. So that actually might be yeah, bad dudes be dragon ninja was good. Burger time was good. That's probably that's probably yeah top three for sure. So Gate of Doom, Dark Seal. Now, I've heard this game, I have heard this game compared to uh, the Gauntlet games, so I'm interested to see how this pans out. Uh, arcade, two-player game, 1990 release date. Let's have a look. So, The Gate of Doom casts you as one of four characters, commanded by the King of Et Etrulia, to save the realm from the evil Volov and his right-hand man, the Black Knight. Taking place in a medieval fantasy world, obviously inspired by Dungeons & Dragons, even more so than the earlier similar games. Okay, um, each of the players fill a familiar role-playing archetype, illustrated via character sheets in the introduction. This is probably the longest intro I've seen on a single Evercade game. It just kind of keeps going. Yeah, I've not seen one that goes like this. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, We'll, we'll have a look at the controls. So use magic and attack of the controls. I thought they were going to be more um, more elaborate based off that kind of description I was reading. But um, we'll we'll, uh, we'll just get it loaded up and see how it is. So Gate of Doom, Dark Seal. I don't know why that's in parenthesis. I'll skip the intro and we'll just kind of dive in. All right, here we go. Who do I want to be? The knight, the wizard, the bara, the ninja. I'm gonna get the knight. I'm the knight. Big tough boy. Let's do it. May the gods guide me. Oh wow. Okay. Right. I'm gonna instantly double check the controls. <laughs> oh, which weirdly are not. Properly put on the screen, so it should it should be it was A and B other other you know the main hits. So B is my hit and A is nothing actually. What about X and Y? Okay, so it seems like B is the the way to go. Right. Well, obviously this is very different to every other game on this cartridge. We have another game like this. I am pulling off some mad moves with this B button. I'm not doing anything in particular. Oh, but yeah, it's pretty. Pretty cool. Oh, it's kind of hard to see what's up in this corner. Is this this boy? Right. Uh, okay, number one. I like the graphics. I like the style of the game. Uh, I like the fact it's multiplayer. Seems like it'd be pretty fun. The music is good. Um, I'm kind of digging it. Well, I'm not kind of digging it. I oh, know I am digging it. This is this is good. This is a good start. It's good fun. Ooh, ooh, right. Oh, I've done something miraculous. I've turned into a big pile of rats. What, what is happening here? Uh, okay. So when you come back, you get to choose if you want to stay as the knight or the wizard or the yeah. Oh, I think I said bar earlier today. I was mostly bard. Right. Um. 
So yeah, I want to be the knight. Okay, I'm back as a knight. I do not want all my secret special ability there with the 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 rats, the mice is all about. Uh, I assume I can blow that up. Okay, this game is cool. It's cool. I don't quite know what's happening, but I am I'm into it. These dudes are like something else. Oh man, I feel like I'm not very good at defending myself, but um, yeah. But it's an okay game. You get used to it. You pick up skills, and this definitely seems like something that would be really worth like playing more and more of. Oh, I've turned into a like a tornado. <laughs> How many abilities do I have? Do they all have different abilities like this? Uh, how do I get out of this? <laughs> or do I just leave a level like this? Oh, there we go. I think it's just, yeah, time-based. Oh, I picked up a few little bits and pieces. The the music continues to be great. I like, I like the, ice, the isometric layout of the level. I've got... Oh, I've got an enemy here in this one. Uh, he, he didn't attack me, so I wasn't sure if I'd suddenly picked up an ally or, or not, but uh, no, definitely an enemy, but that's it. Well, this looks to be the most layered kind of game on one of these cartridges, because there's, there's quite a lot going on here. Oh my lord. Okay, <laughs> there is a lot going on in this game. Um, I'm going to play more of this, give it a full review in my upcoming kind of review um, video for this cartridge, but yeah, initial impressions are very strong. There's a lot going on here, and it, it all looks pretty fun. So, with that in mind, we'll move on to Tumble Pop, 1991 platform game, another two-player game. So some alien chasing, mutant busting, tumble popping action. So, suck up foes with your monster bashing vacuum cleaner. I bet those four words have never been put together other than this description on this game. And then, once you've sucked them up, <laughs> which sounded weird, then blast them back at enemies to clear out the stages. So, there's a bit of a Kirby vibe going on here it sounds like hold hold to suck release to blow okay yeah and then jump with a <laughs> right let's just dive in let's let's have a go post look pretty cool I'll just put the one credit in we'll see where we I was like I said we'll see where we start depending on I get to choose where we start let's start in is that France or Spain or something yeah cool Right. Okay. So yeah, it is a bit like Kirby. You hold it and then you press it again and you release the enemy. And then you go pick up the sweet coins. I don't know if they're like francs you know, back in the day. Uh, say not euros, I suppose. But yeah. Um, this is pretty cool. The music's quite good. The level design is quite interesting. It's got a bit of a Donkey Kong Mario. Well, not really, but that, that kind of vibe, I suppose. It's like a platform level, but you don't go anywhere, so you kind of just stay on the level. And that was that was stage clear. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, now we're just same stage. Oh, it's definitely f yeah. Okay, that was a lot. I just oh man, what the hell? <laughs> that was that was intense. Hey, well, I enjoyed that. Ooh, okay. So if you get hit, you get caught. You get tagged, you get bagged. All right, and that will finish the level off. Just gonna get the sack of. It says dollars on it, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is quite fun. Yeah. What the hell is that in the middle? So yeah, this is a bit of a element of. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I, I understand the controls and I'm I'm enjoying myself <laughs> trying to find out. So this works for me. I don't know how you beat this dude in the middle, but it just looks like a it looks like something you kind of uh, put your pen in to get ink, like like an ink quill type thing. Oh, he also looks like a giant ice cube. Uh oh, apparently I I reached a high school there. I'll just put it as. Triple A, and I'm back in the hunt. Um, yeah, no, this is fun. This is good. I'll, um, I will definitely play more of this. Um, 
yeah, I was enjoying that, so we'll see how far I can get with that. I feel this is one probably where save states will come in handy, and you can get through different levels and different um, different stages. It was all different um, around the world, so I started in France, but it was you know all over the place. So yeah, so that'll be cool. There's two games left, and it looks like Wizard Fire here is the sequel to Gate of Doom, so that might explain the Dark Seal, and now yeah, Dark Seal 2, I didn't notice that originally. So, this is 1992, Gate of Doom was 1990, so this is going to be a, uh, hopefully a more polished version really. This one does not have an insanely long introduction, it actually has a very brief introduction. So the minions of evil will come, but they will be swept away by the shining knights of the wizard fire, saith the sage. Guess who's in charge of those shining knights? Well, sounds like it's probably going to be bloody me. Right, use magic, attack. Okay. Oh yeah, so before we didn't actually get to see the controls, they didn't pull through properly, the A and the B. So A is using magic, which would explain why every time I did use A and something happened, something completely bonkers occurred, like I turned into a pack of rats. So that makes a lot more sense. I'm sorry to skip the intro, but uh, you know, if you've got an interest in these games, you'll play it in your own time, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But here we go. Ooh. So now, okay, we've got. I don't know if they've touched on this before, but uh, you've got different, different uh, abilities here. So I'll give a night again for consistency. I'm immune to disease, which is uh, lovely. And in this day and age, it would be a, it would be a lovely perk to have. The intro video looks looks cool, but I'm just gonna dive into the action here. So, all right, here we go. So I've got my. There's a lot happening here. The 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 music's great. The the graphics are great. This looks really cool. This looks like it could be a PS1 game. Um, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. Oh man, that, like lobster or something caught me out. Let's use a bit of magic maybe if I've got some. Oh, I don't have any yet. I don't have any yet. Oh, now I have some. I've become a dust cloud of sheer doom. I don't know. I don't know. I love. I love the magic in this. You don't know what's gonna happen. I pick this up. Yeah. Oh. I'm loving the purple river, toxic river. Oh, okay. Oh man, we're straight into a big battle here. And I think I've got tags instantly. We'll dive back in very quickly. Put a credit in it. But yeah, this looks to be essentially the same game, but uh, built upon and just made better. I mean, the graphics are better, the sound is a lot more uh, intense as well. It's quite foreboding. It's got a really great like sense of, um, of almost like seriousness to it. I'm loving that effect when you, when you deck him and he turns like blue and almost like electrified. So yeah, my, my mix is, uh, is kind of electrified here. Here we go. See if I can take this big beast out. Missed. I missed with a few of the shots there, but oh, he's nearly down. He's got a little energy uh, energy sensor. He's nearly down and out, but I need to need to move a bit more. I'm, par I'm paralysed for the minute. There we go. I'm just going to give it everything I've got. Oh, it's just a tense battle. Tense battle. He's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. I'll have to get on the run slightly, although he is tagging me. Oh, I think he's got me. He's got me before I've got him. He's got a sliver of health left. But luckily, I have all the credits in the world, so... Here you go. Boom. It's a hollow victory. It's a hollow victory. The stage is clear. Um, yeah, that was great. That was really cool. That was really good. That was even better than the first one. So, 
I feel as we head into the final game, but uh, this cartridge is shaping up pretty well. I didn't love Darwin. Breakthrough was okay. Um, Burger Time was great. Lock and Chase is yeah, pretty good. Uh, Bad Dudes this and Dragon Ninja was fun. Sly Spy was good. Tumblehop was good. Uh, this game is actually... Uh, uh, so this cartridge is really surprising me in that a lot of these games are actually really fun, really good. First impressions are, are great. So we're going to the final uh, release, so to speak, the final game on this uh, set. It's a 1995 puzzle game for two players. Chain Reaction. So grab pieces and match them in stacks of three in this frantic puzzler. Face off against opponents in the battle mode or take on the solo challenge to hone your skills. So let's have a look at the controls. Throw a piece of A, grab a piece of B. So I'm going to grab and then throw. So cool. It doesn't look that hard to get the grips with. It looks a little bit like uh, you know games like Bejeweled and stuff like that. So let's have a look. Chain reaction. So we'll dive into the solo play. And oh, here we go. Whoa, we're off. We're off and running. So grab was B, yeah. Oh, and then A, yeah, releases it. Okay, okay. That's just a pretty standard, yeah. Make three or, or more, and and you'll be quids in. Yeah, seems okay. I'll be honest, my my tempo's uh, gone down a bit because um, the previous game was was, was there's a lot happening. This feels very low key in comparison. Oh, you can pick up two of uh, each kind of symbol, I guess. So that's cool. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 a puzzle game. It's a standard kind of puzzle game. Uh, yeah, this one's not reinventing the wheel or anything, but it's it's fun enough. It's fun enough. I bet in a two-player battle, this would be uh, this would be more fun. A lot of puzzle games like this, if you can go two-player head-to-head, are generally speaking kind of more fun that way than just kind of. Playing it by yourself for kind of playing its sake. Um, the S thing is interesting, so does that do anything? Uh, okay, cool. Uh, more of an effect. Um, but yeah, this is pretty fun. The, the music's okay. Um, it's very carnival, very fun fairy. But yeah, it's it's slightly slow. I wish I could kind of move between them very slightly faster. It's not a huge complaint, but. I am hitting the D-pad like I'm very aware I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, for example, as opposed to just blasting through it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun enough. It's fun enough. So put the S. So the S, the S doesn't go with the others, I'm guessing. No. Okay. It seems like it's its own thing, which is a bit. I don't know what the S stands for. Special, I guess. Super or something. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty good. It's 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 fair enough. It's very like middle of the road. But I yeah I enjoy games like this. So like I said, in, in a multiplayer local multiplayer environment, it might be pretty fun. So yeah, to wrap up and go back to the um, go back to the homepage here, so to speak. Um, yeah, this cartridge has surprised me. A lot of these games are actually pretty fun, and these two games, the Wizard Fire, Gate of Doom, I, yeah, I guess the Dark Seal games. I wasn't quite sure what to call them while I was playing Chain Reaction because uh, they throw quite a few different names at you here, but I didn't really, you know, pick up on blasting through these games. But they were really fun. Tumble Pop was really fun. I like Sly Spy. That was fun. I like Bad Dizzy Dragon, Dragon Ninja. Burger Time is really good. Overall, yeah, it's a pretty strong cartridge, I would say. Uh, these initial arcade releases, so. Um, this wasn't one that I was massively keen on. I, I knew Burger Time was going to be good, um, but other than that, I didn't really have a, have a horse in this race. So it surprised me by my initial uh, reaction has been that it's been you know very enjoyable. So I'm going to play more of them, uh, and that applies to kind of all these arcade cartridges. I'm going to do a full review and give you kind of a, a score and a, and a full score for the for each game and the whole cartridge. So stick around the channel for that. And there'll be more Evercade videos coming up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for sticking with me. And until next time, take it easy.